Hello and welcome to the continuation of my Citroën SM build here. I got a lot of positive feedback on my first video, so I'm continuing this build process. And we're into week two here. And what I've done is um, started working on the bodywork in a more serious way. So that involved um, replacing everything with black parts, firstly, because it was a little bit patchwork to begin with. I've also reworked the shape of this rear window, because um, that was a bit off. This was also very off, so I've reworked that. I've added a roof. And then the only functional thing that I've done here is I've added these headlight beacons into here, and they do swivel with the headlights, so I will have to do a bit of cable management to get this to work even better. I've started some work on the bodywork here, uh, toward the rear, on both sides, and um, well, obviously the doors don't open, so this is not really a final product, but um, it is a good way to kind of get used to what kind of shapes we're dealing with, what kind of strange angles we're going to have to do. And in starting this bodywork, I've also had to uh, modify this part of the floor a little bit, just in order to get access to that toggle switch. You can see now it's not symmetrical with the other side. We now have the rear end of the car near completion. I'll have to add a little bit more detail to the rear lights here. Um, the tailgate still opens, and if we open up the parcel shelf, we can gain access to the battery box and the cylinder to adjust the height of the suspension. And I've also left some space here for doors and started on these uh, brackets to mount wheel arches to the front. We now have doors and wheel arches for the front wheels. Um, these doors open and I'm fairly satisfied with the shape because uh, the car becomes sort of more square and wider as we move forward, which is realistic. Um, I'm not as satisfied with the fact that the door ends all the way here when the uh, B pillar is in front here, but um, I think it's acceptable. I now have some semblance of bodywork around the front end. Um, it's a little bit hard to see on camera actually because we've got black around here and then this black surround for the whole headlight area. Um, obviously I'm not completely pleased with how this, uh, this is at the moment, um, especially compared to how sleek the rear end is. I think the front looks uh, fairly shonky at the moment, um, but hopefully I can improve that in the coming days. At the moment I've got the car jacked up completely because I think that's the ugliest form and if it's recognizable as an SM in this form it should be nicer when we push it back down so let's take a look at that. This toggle switch is a little bit hard to reach but there we go. It's decompressed and I think at least from the side view that's really not too bad. It's uh, it's particularly this front view and the fact that you can see all of the internals that's really ruining the look for me right now. The front end of the car is finally complete and I'm pretty happy with how it looks, although I did have to make some compromises. So for example, here, some stuff is just left exposed because I didn't want the bonnet to get too high. So the engine is completely exposed and you can't open up the front end. There's no opening bonnet. Um, and then the second compromise was that I had to get rid of the swiveling headlight system in the front end, um, just because there wasn't enough space to include that and a realistic looking uh, front uh, headlight um, assembly. But overall, I'm, I'm pretty pleased with how this looks. Well, here we are with the completed model. And uh, since yesterday, the only things that I've changed have been basically small details to get this to be at a point that I consider to be complete. Uh, the biggest difference would be that I've managed to get the swiveling headlights incorporated again. So you can see here that they're very basically connected to the steering rack, essentially. And they, they basically shimmy side to side rather than swiveling. But um, that's that's as good as I was able to get it at this space while actually making the front end, I think, even better than it was before. Uh, and then a bunch of old, other tiny details, like there's this curved section of the roof, I've added some mirrors, I've switched this out for a black tube just to get it a little bit more flush. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm very proud of this, I think, to... Uh, to make a model at this scale with suspension, drive, steering, a piston engine, and fully remote control, um, with a, a full interior as well, I think um, it is probably my greatest achievement as a mock builder so far. So um, 
I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't seen part one, please go ahead and watch that. That's where I build the chassis of this car. And I hope to see you guys in the next one very soon.